Hi everybody. Damn, this hair sounds fucking atrocious. Leave it. I am nervous as as always. This is the pre-fight nerves. They always come, but I always seem to be okay after before after the fact. I always I'm not fighting the strongest fighter. Um, I'm always semi like you know my boxing's good. I'll be fine. I know that in my heart. I do a lot of visualizations, a lot of meditations. I did 39 minutes of meditation, which is quite intense. It doesn't feel real, but I did do 39 minutes of meditation. Three minutes of 10 minutes. Three sets of 10 minutes. Three sets of three minutes. That's for 39 minutes. I think I might hit my hour of meditation goal today. I haven't even made my habit tracker yet. So that's an hour of me. Because I've just been procrastinating on it. I'd say, oh yeah, I haven't got around to doing it, but in actuality, it's more so procrastination. Um, I always meditate a fuck ton before sparring. Always feel the, the nerves before sparring. The power footage will be on on YouTube by tonight. Hope you guys will enjoy it. Don't judge me, okay? It's like my sixth, seventh spar, roughly around that mark. I don't, I don't remember exactly. I don't count anymore. Oh, I'm so cool, I don't count anymore. Um, I have to take boxing more seriously. I mean, I had a thought run through my mind. I have to take boxing more seriously. Boxing is not just boxing, it's a way out. It's a business. It's a way to make money. Put food on the table. Yo, the, uh, ra it's not likely, but the random average Joe you see out there could potentially be the next for their other if only he puts in that hard work and dedication. Do they put in that hard work and dedication though? They don't. At first sight of nerves, the first sight of, of tension, of, of hardship, of confrontation, they freeze up and they don't do it. Oh, plenty of people within my gym, they don't want to spar because X reason, because I don't have a mouth guard, because I think it's Haram, Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson. To Devin Haney. Devin Haney Muslim. That's just to name a few. Um, there's much more great Muslim fighters as well. Khabib Nurmagomedov, Islam Makachev. Well, I don't think, I don't think it's Hamza Shamayev. They don't stop coming, right? Pause. They don't stop coming. For the most part, it isn't like fighting. It isn't a competition. It isn't with the intention to kill. It's the intention to learn and grow. And you know, we're all nervous. We're trying to. We're trying to. We're all, we're all scared. We're all feeling that fear. We're just trying to, you know, go about our lives, challenge ourselves, get in that ring, fight. I visualize like my potential opponents and I, I feel quite easy in the beginning and then I visualize harder opponents, harder opponents, harder opponents and I, I still feel pretty okay, it's just, I don't know, it's the fear, I can't pinpoint a reason why I feel this way. You know, chat GPT, I'll chat GPT for advice, I'll ask Google for advice. It says pinpoint a reason why you feel nervous, you feel the nerves. I can't find a reason, there is no particular reason in my heart. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Every inch of my body is screaming at me not to go. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wear my I'm gonna wear my headphones. I'm gonna wear my my hoodie and my sweatpants. My my air forces. I'm gonna put my water in my bag, filling it up. And I'm gonna go. Whether I get my ass whooped or I do exceptionally well, only God knows. But I know deep down in my heart, I think I will do well. Everyone tells me, oh, you're a good boxer, you're a good boxer, you're a good boxer. Like, um, no flaws in the bag. I look good in the bag, I look good in the pads. No, I don't look good in the pads. I look good in skipping, I look good in this, I look good in that. I look good in other, I always farm for as well. But the nerve is still there. I pinpoint, like, I fought my friend. Like, just like a friendly spar in the park. Boxing. Um, a few days ago, not a few days ago, like, um, a good, um, almost a month ago now, it was on, 
the 11th of July, 12th of July. I felt so many, so much nerves, anxious nervousness beforehand, but then I, I'm there and I'm beating his ass. And I just feel bad. And it's like, it's whatever, and I go home and I feel chill. Same with last week. Same with weeks before. And it's coming again, annoying at this point, feeling these nerves. I mean, I'm kind of getting, I'm fucking a bit agitated by it. Just a little bit. Why am I nervous? What am I nervous for? For what reason? I've been through this rodeo, it's not my first rodeo. I've been through this rodeo multiple, multiple times. It's just, I still feel it. You know? So I think, um, within one year, You can get 52 spars, because there's 52 weeks in a year. I spar once a week, 52 um, spars. I can go crazy and spar twice a week, go 104 spars. But I would like to keep my brain, thank you very much. And I would probably do just one spar a week for the rest of the week, healing, working, doing other things. Because when, when you have something like sparring, it takes so much of your time and energy, your mental capacity. It's kind of annoying. Um, the worst case scenario, I get knocked out. I get dropped. Has it happened yet? No. I faced some pretty high level competition as well. Some dude with like some killer liver shots. Really hurt me in the liver, but I still I firm me through. And I worked that out. I rocked him a few times. This boxing game. It's all the mental game. It's all the all, all mental game. I wish I could sleep in the gym. I'd be in a better spot. It's not my bed in there, so put my mattress on the floor somewhere there. <laughs> Sleep there instead, shower there as well. <laughs> really get into a fight cat mode, right? I really wish I could do that. But for now, I will see you guys in the next video. Watch me spar. Wish me luck at sparring. Peace. Back here. What's up, boys? We've got contact lenses in. About to spar. Oh, look at plane. I can't see very clearly. It's quite low to the ground, eh? I could throw a rock at it and I would hit it, bro. <laughs> On a call with my friends. That's what I even call them friends. Yeah, they are friends, but I'm. Um... Yeah, well, I'm really feeling the nerves. Kind of sparring. 6 pm, I have to leave. So I'm right there on time. So like half an hour at maximum and I can leave at 6.30 get there at 7 it's about a bit late but I'll have a bit of time to, you know, to meditate and introspect on myself it's weird because last week I was feeling the same exact nerves albeit on a lesser scale but I was still feeling them and it really did hurt and it really was annoying and it really was overwhelming it just, it just fucking it slams you Super hardcore. So I don't feel about it. It's um, it's really annoying. It's really annoying going on too. I would like to, you know, be the stoic individual, feel nothing, be excited for it. Um, but you know, honestly, it is, it is fear. It is nerves. It is, it is anxiety. It is. A, my, a myriad of emotions, not just one. To call it one is is the lie. It is so many thoughts happening all at once. So many emotions happening all at once. And I'm trying to pinpoint as, it, as to why it is this way. And I'm fidgeting my feet. I'm trying to pinpoint as to why it's this way. Why am I feeling all these nerves? Will I be okay? Yes. I've got a good boxing technique. Will I be sparring the, the best guys in the gym when I get fucked up? In all likelihood, no. Um, I think I've like nose bled like once, and it was like it wasn't even a proper nose bleed. It was like a little, a little bit of blood coming out, like a powderish blood. And the other guy, you shouldn't have seen the other guy. The other guy got fucked up. Well, I'm scared of gassing out. I'm mean, training a good amount. Should not happen. I'll, I'll be probably I'll, my spark part won't be like working me that hard. And if, even if they do, I'll probably go like one or two rounds, three rounds at maximum. 
is a fear of failure, is a fear of technique, is a fear of this, is like, is because my step, stepping jabs weak. I, I, I'm not sure. There's no particular reason. And, um, I see a line where it says, it tells you to bottle it down to a particular reason and then try to solve it. Pull up on that. Motherfucker, I, there is no particular reason for me. I'm just, I'm just feeling the nerves. I just feel fucking scared. I feel fear. I feel anxious. I feel anxiety. My heart is sinking down in my chest. I feel lethargic. I feel tired. But my hands are shaking a bit. To be brutally honest with you. Just, that's how I feel. And as I hyper meditate, like I had meditated like half an hour, maybe an hour, um, the feeling only gets incrementally better. Incrementally, it's still a lot better. I'm wearing my legendary equipment, my long shorts, and my shirt. I've got all the multi equipment I, I, I need. All I'm missing is a head guard. I'm gonna get a head guard soon. I'll probably buy it online. Take my hat, catch you guys in a bit. Peace, it's really boy, Jimmy.
other guy. He's, he'll come flying at me. Oh, oh, oh. Put that lamp for again. Pop it there. Jimmy! 
You're just going to keep walking forward and like making uh, movements. Uh, that's going to happen time and time uh, again. In and out, Jimmy. In and out. Uh, in and out. Uh, in and out. Uh, in and out. Uh, 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 I think he's on the right here, man. Keep on going, man. Here's Woody. Here's Woody. Thank God. Hands up, hands up. Take the body in the head. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one, Jimmy. One two, one two. Yeah. Yes. That's how the body. What's the body? What's the body? Hold center, hold center. Hold center. Perfect. Yep. One One second. Oh, no, shit. Yeah, you can uh, open it. You can open it. You can open it. You can open it. You can open it. You that's unbelievable. <laughs> That's unbelievable. I was not expecting that. I said I was on my on my shit today. Shit. What, you want to around me? No boy, like that. You're already too tired. Yeah. And if I did go against you, we go live. Hold on, man. I'm a little live. Yeah, I mean, he didn't catch it. Yeah, he didn't catch it. Huh? I think you're black. Huh? He's not here. Huh? He's not here. Huh? He's not here. Huh? He's not here. Yo, Jimmy! Good but not great. That would be what I would describe myself in boxing. Good but not great. Everyone tells me that I'm, oh yeah, you're a good boxer, you're a good boxer, you're a good boxer, but I'm like, great, no. Good but not great. And now this is reminding me to read a book called Good to Great by Jim Collins. Um, let me go to the book and check right now. Jim Collins, yeah, I was right. Tim Grover made Relentless. I mean, second thoughts, second doubts, everything, everything under the sun, myself. It's weird, I need to look at myself in, what the fuck? It's a weird angle, man. My tight face feels crooked. It's going to this side. This side. No. This side. This side. No, no. This side. Yeah. What's it? Move from the front. <laughs> what kind of tedious? Always been like a light-hearted guy, always been um I can't look at myself like this, it's fucking atrocious. That's better. 
I don't know, it's it now looks the same. I look crooked on the other side now as well. I've always been like a light-hearted guy, I've always been a like, funny go go funny guy, but Boxing gave me this new found confidence, this new found ability to really express myself. With the two knockdowns. Unless I revenge those knockdowns, I don't see anything. And I, and I can't get the third round as well, where I was doing well. Trading on the back pocket. I don't know what I want. Okay, I want to be like an Elon Musk. I want to go to space. I want to do this. I want to do that. Okay, then what am I doing towards that? I want to be a great boxer. One of the best, even. What am I doing towards that? It's a lifetime dedication. That requires intense hard work and dedication. My physique is like shit. My boxing not good enough. What the fuck am I doing, bro? It's raining a bit. I'm like, oh, I can't run around. What if I slip? What the fuck? What if I slip? Who gives a fuck? Nobody gives a fuck. No one cares. What do I do, guys? I don't say what do I do, guys. I just want to release this video. Probably a minute before I release this video. There's a lot of self doubt going into this video. There's a lot of vicious emotions. And I'm letting the demons come in. Paying the price. Plus VAT. If it's a matter of who wants it more, I believe I want it more. I want to keep sparring, I want to keep going, I want to keep fighting. I don't want to stop. No point in my life, man. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Insane lighting. So it's like horrible quality. The lighting's quite poor. It's almost 3 a.m. Reflections on the spar. It was it was an intense spar to say the least. Um, I wanted I wanted it to be light. I was telling him numerous times to be light, but he didn't understand this. I at times went light on my punches, which was my mistake. I should not have went light. Two knockdowns. The first knockdown was lucky. 
because like I just wasn't well, throwing my punches. My punches, I hesitated. I didn't have that killer instinct, you know. And the second knockdown was, I think, was good. I like, actually genuinely hit me at that time. I got up. I didn't got surprised that I got up. I was like, wait, you got up? <laughs> I feel like that was a bit of an insult. He was telling me in the DMs later that uh, yeah, he's surprised I got up. My part on his punch. But um, yeah, next week I do want to kill him. I'm gonna knock him out cold. To be done honest with you. It's not my best performance. It's quite piss taking to think about. I have a very similar weakness to Ryan Garcia. And in the third round, which wasn't recorded, it's, uh, I should have put my camera there, it's my fault. Um, but yeah, my third round, I was doing really better with blocking his punches and turning him well. It's powering off of him well as well. I really, could I really figured him out in the third round, and he was extremely tired, and I was still like semi okay. <sighs> oh man, it's my fault in it. My. Before you make fun of me, um, I do make fun of you by the way. I fucking deserve it. I'm locked down, bro. The funniest, the funniest thing out of that was that he was 20 years old. I thought bro was like 16 or something. Bro was 20 years old. It reminds me of like a lot of guys' days, they aren't fully grown up, are they? A lot of guys' days are well. Like, kind of like boys still. Just grown up boys, though. Um, can I say myself included? I'm not sure, I'm Asian. We do look, look like boys, but he's not Asian. I thought it was Asian. Yeah, I know, I should have went hard on punches. I should have went fully completed on them. I should have went super, super hard. I should have reciprocated his energy, right? Mm. I was gonna make excuses and say like I didn't really feel my best that day, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, but when do I feel my best? I wait the next week. Wait the next week, kind. I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's this point for me. More so like, I'm angry about it, but I really didn't train. I missed skip training yesterday. It was all because of it. Yeah, it's just dumb. I'll see you guys. See you guys around.